Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the date D in the format like this, that is date, month and year. And then the program must print the date after seven days from D. So now we'll take our first test case. So in this test case, we have the date D as 11-8-2020. So, seven days after this D will be 11 plus seven. So we'll get 18. So 18, eight, 2020 will be our output. Now we'll take our another test case. So in this test case, the D is 31, 3, 2019. So here we have got March 31 as the last date. So last date is March and the seven days after March would be starting from April 1 to 7 so we'll get the output in April 7 that is 7 4 2019. So this will be our output. Now let us implement our program. The first main thing we have to do is import date time, which will make our task easy. So now we'll get the date D as the input. And then we'll convert this date to date time object. So date object is equal to, you can use the strp time function. So date time dot date time dot strp time of date comma now we'll give the format that is the date the month and the year so this strp time will convert the date to date time object so now after converting we have to increment 7 to this date time object so for that date time object will be incremented with the date time dot time delta where days equal to 7 so when the date time object is incremented by 7 we'll get the date after 7 days so finally we'll print the current date time object that is after incrementation of 7 and the date time object dot str f time so after that we'll use this same format so now let us execute our program
we'll pass our first test case so yes we have got the correct output that is 7 days after the date d now we'll pass our another test case so here also we have got the correct output our program has passed all our given test cases successfully hope you guys understand thanks for watching see you next video